Good morning, guys. We're gonna go get breakfast. And guess who we're bringing? A good boy, Kali. Nana Jam. Nanny. Oh, the tank. She is such a tank. Come here. We love her. Where are we getting breakfast? Uh, probably Duncan. Duncan. Uh, so we're about to get some breakfast. We're mostly just getting breakfast for Carl. He would love it. He loves getting little bits of hash browns and stuff. He's not getting my hash browns. I think he is. Yours. <laughs> yeah. Our normal breakfast place was all out of our grilled cheese pretzels. So now we're Typical. just gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts. We got our Dunkin'. I got my stuffed bagel minis and hash browns and a French vanilla hot coffee. <clears throat> I got bacon, tomato, avocado sandwich on sourdough bread. Duncan never lets us down. Only sometimes when they don't have what I want. But that's every restaurant. So. This would be <laughs> really good if we got this, brought it home, mm -hmm. whipped up some eggs, threw it on the sandwich. Mm -hmm. cool. But it's got tomatoes and I love tomatoes. I also need some cream cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go on a family walk with Monkey. Monkey. Good boys. All right, we're gonna get Coley ready, and Monkey's coming. This is the longest walk I've ever did. Monkey, are you ready? Yeah, I said, Monkey, you want to go for a walk? What? A walk? I have a leg, I'll lace him up. Ready, Cody? You want to take your, mm. your cousin? You're going to be able to take both of them? Yeah, good. Monkey's a lot of work. <laughs> Skyla! Little Polly La. Hey, Sky Girl. You're so cute. The kitty paw girl. Oh. Alright, Justin's already getting started. We have Keebler wanting to play fetch. We have two chairs to put together. She is a master chef featured on the Food Network channel. No. <laughs> Don't look for me. They'll be like, no. <laughs> and today we're gonna make spaghetti with meat sauce and garlic bread. So here's how we do it. Alright, so I'm teaching Reagan how to make this for 
Justin because he likes my sauce. <laughs> not Italian, and I, he'd probably, an Italian grandma would probably roll over in her grave if she knew how I did it. So I start out with just a little bit of olive oil in the pan, the cold pan. I love to use cast iron, but in this case I'm using stainless steel all clad because with tomato sauce you don't want to use cast iron. I'm gonna start heating the pan just a little bit, even though the meat does have a lot of oil in it. I like to just put a little oil in the pan so it doesn't stick too much. The hamburger I'm gonna use is from a calf that we raised with a friend and another family and we each took half. So this is Duke. He's delicious, I will say. R.I.P. Duke. <laughs> Thank you, Duke, for your sacrifice. You are delicious. And he was a happy guy. He lived with a couple goats, Boots and Gizmo, that were born here on our place. He had his little friends and he was happy. And happy meat makes delicious meat. So I'm gonna take some of Duke, put him in the pan. So I'm just gonna cut up, just gonna crumble up the, the uh, ham thawed hamburger in the pan a little bit and just wait till it starts sizzling a bit. All right, so I've got a couple of butter. This is just some butter that I had left over from the holidays. And this is actually garlic butter we made before, so I'm gonna put it in the microwave to soften. And then I'm making the French baguettes from Costco. We're just gonna bake these up real quick and then cut them in half and get some garlic. Browning, browning. It's almost done. I like to let it get just a slightly browner, but I do like to season the meat instead of the sauce. So I start out with some kosher salt. I also like to use a pepper mill, also from Williams-Sonoma. And they don't sponsor anything, because you know, it's regular not sponsored. So. <laughs> some basil, uh, oregano, same thing. I like to do a little onion and garlic powders. This is onion, granulated garlic. We still my little garlic, but again, just as much or little as you like. I do like a lot of garlic. Oh yeah, and I guess Justin does too. Cause it's <laughs> all right, just gonna stir it all together. Now, uh, another thing I like to sometimes put in is some pepper flakes. I'm not putting it in because this is for Justin, but I might put a few in after it's done. But this is good to put in there too. Worcestershire sauce. Put them on. Put the tomatoes in. So I've got diced tomatoes. I'm just gonna put them in. I'm not gonna drain them. I'm just gonna let the sauce cook off a little bit. In the meantime, we can, we can fill another pan. You wanna fill your pan up pretty well because you want the pasta really circulate. You want it as family nos wrap of uh, salt, fat, acid, heat, one of my favorite shows and cookbooks. It says your pasta water should taste like the sea. It should be that salty. So then I'm gonna put the sauce. I've got Kirkland from Costco, but any sauce you like will do. Another tomato I sometimes really like to put in to my hot sauce is the fire roasted tomatoes. All right, we're gonna mix all that together. It looks pretty good. I could put tomato paste in it, but like I said, the meat was pretty lean and I just don't feel like it, yeah. We're not, I don't think we're gonna put paste, but this is an option too, if you like a thicker sauce. So then I'm just gonna throw a little bit of red wine. I have, oh, my red wine's not even open. <gasps> okay, so I like to splash a little bit of red wine. A little bit. You're gonna be that meme. <laughs> That meme on Two that shots. <laughs> it just keeps pouring Two and pouring. Shots. One shot for you. <laughs> so I also like to take some Parmesan and put some into the sauce. Not a whole lot, because we're gonna put them on top too. But just enough to get that little bit of richness in the sauce. I'm gonna cut them in half. Cut your bread in half. Now this is the one that had garlic on it. And we didn't really want it to melt, but it did, which is fine. All right. The camera died, so we're continuing this on my phone. So I made this before, but it, it was fresh garlic kind of blended into salted, softened butter, so I'm just gonna make sure I get some garlic, and we're just gonna brush it on with our barbecue brush here. Buttery, buttery goodness, no matter what. Because we all like a little parm, and it makes it pretty, we'll put a little parm on top as well. This is looking really good. It's just staying hot and simmering and thickening. Organic, made in Italy, ruffalo. Our water is boiling, so we're gonna add the pasta. As soon as you put the pasta in, you do wanna give it a stir. Make sure it doesn't clump at the bottom. Pro tip from our master class. So I'm using a flat um, spatula for this because I like to kind of scrape and, but if you're using a, one with a traditional handle, round handle, these little holes in there, they can obviously, you can um, hang your pots from them, but they also make great spoon rest 
so the food drips back down if you're using that one. All right, for that exclusive masterclass, we do ask you to do a small donation of one sub. <laughs> now we drain in the pasta. We drain in the pasta. We're gonna leave a little bit in there because it's okay to leave a little of the pasta water in. So when you put the sauce in, it will coat better. Just gonna slide all this good stuff right in there. And in the meantime, I just put the uh, oven back on 400 broil. That garlic bread is cooking. So that's it. We're just coating the pasta with the sauce. It's amazing. All right, Ma. Thanks for teaching us how to do our <laughs> spaghetti. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. It's going to be delicious. Let us know if you try it in the comments. Oh my gosh. Bye. Wow. Well, sorry that Justin. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, good morning guys. It's the next day. Our camera died and then we forgot to film the end uh, result of the chairs that we built. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Here's Sicky J with our babies. Layla, say hello. And so Sicky. Yes. <laughs> Love you. Oh, you're warm. All right. I'm gonna go outside. It's cold right now, but I'm gonna go outside and show you guys the chairs. Oh God, Coley knocked me out of the camper. What are you doing that for, Coley? Sit. All right, let me show them and then we can go out. So these are the chairs Justin and I built. We have two and then we have a little spool to like put our drinks or food or whatever on so this is what it looks like but this is how it looks so once it warms up a little bit we'll have like our morning coffee and just hang out with the girls out here and supervise Cole and that's all so thank you guys for watching our video today and we hope you guys enjoyed let us know if you tried the spaghetti and like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you later.